Hi everyone, in my previous video, I had created SSL certificate and private key with OpenSSL program and also shown you how to decrypt SSL traffic with Wireshark by using private key. So now in this video, we will see web filtering without transparent mode. So let's start. So what I am going to do here, I am turning off this option, this transparent mode and leaving this enable SSL filtering as it is. So everything is same, uh, everything set same, configured same as per my previous videos. Just I'm just, what I'm doing only turning off this transparent mode. So let's save here. So as I turned off transparent mode, what I need to do, I need to mention proxy IP address and port here which is this one same thing and for all protocols that's it so now let's see open google everything is fine let me check services are running or not yes and then the transparent mode is off already and this is enabled and ca is this same i'm using okay so let's open google and Google is opening and now you can see who signed this certificate is issued by me Ashok Duan. So it's mean our this option is working SSL filtering and it is generating the certificate in the name of Google. So now what we need to do is create a list one to block Facebook here. I'm going here and uh, this block list is already there. Let me delete this one and apply. Let's create new one. Same block list and mention domain name facebook.com and error should would be not allowed. Let's save it and go to common. Okay, deny and save. Apply. Okay, now let's open Facebook. I hope the error will come right now. Now you can see the error. The, I hope you are wondering that why this error is coming even we have a CA certificate in our certificates to verify the Facebook certificate which is created by firewall itself here in this we have this one even then the error is coming the reason is that I want to tell you let's capture the traffic then you will get the reason Okay, let's capture again and now go ahead and open Facebook again. Now let's see here what has happened. Okay, this is the certificates given by a firewall. And let's see what inside this certificate. So this is the problem here that the name is not mentioned Facebook. The reason is that the Facebook is not mentioned here in the common name is because uh, like here uh, our client machine is uh, asking proxy server to connect on facebook.com and proxy server checks the domain list and it sees that the facebook.com is mentioned in the domain list and this list is blocked. So proxy server does not forward any request on internet and by this way proxy server will not receive any certificate from facebook.com so as it is not receiving any certificate from facebook.com from internet it can't find common name so this is the reason it is not mentioning here the facebook.com because it can't find common name and what it does it proceeds the handshake here and uh, at the end client is requested for the Facebook 
but it find common name different than Facebook. This is the reason. This is the error is coming for certification. So what we need to do uh, here, we need to go to this Squid Gut Proxy filter, and we need to remove list, remove Facebook.com from this list to main list. And need to mention here. Sorry, Facebook.com. Slash. So now I will show you the packets by capturing. Now you will I will understand clearly. Okay, let's start packet capture again and you open Facebook again. Now you will see clearly error. This one. Now this one we uh, didn't get any error regarding certification. Certificate. Okay. So let's show you. Make show you here. What is happening here? The client is asking proxy server to connect on Facebook.com, and the proxy server checks this Facebook.com under domain list, and it can't find. We have removed the Facebook.com from domain list, so it forward request to facebook.com on the internet so it forward request to facebook on internet and receive certificates from facebook.com and what it does it alter the certificates and put its own public key and then forward to client machine so it now it can mimic mimic the certificate so if you want to uh, read this uh, about this you can go to this wiki.squid-cache.org this URL so you can read this that uh, bump server first support is required to get the original server certificate before we have to send our fake certificate to the client one more thing here in this wiki section when you go to this and you can read why bump the server first when dealing with the connect requests and when you Go back and see the packets here. You can see that after SSL handshake, the client machine asks for the Facebook page and directory is root. You can see forward slash here. So the, then proxy server checks that it, this URL is denied by the uh, our administrator. Then it gives forbidden message to client machine. This is this one. So by this way, you can block downloading. And search queries and websites without transparent mode. Very easy. So now I want to talk about that when we have more than 100 clients in our company, more than 500, then it's very difficult to go to each client and configure proxy settings on their browser. So what we need to do in this case, we need to configure WPAD, this which is Web Proxy Auto Discovery Protocol. We need to configure on proxy firewall so that proxy firewall can give proxy settings to their clients and how can our client machine search for the proxy settings it's easy what we need to do we need to go to their uh, their internet browser and just go ahead and uncheck this we don't require we don't need to mention proxy ip and port number we just need to click on this that's it now our this internet explorer browser will search for the Prox setting on the LAN local area network. Let's see if I recapture the packet here and if I'll reopen this internet explorer, you will see after a few minutes you will see the request for the WPAD server here. Now you can see here. The client machine broadcasting on local area network for the WPAD web proxy auto discovery protocol. So it's asking searching on the local area network. So what we need to do it's very easy. We need to just configure or uh, make we need to make one file with JavaScript function and argument is URL and host and it, this function returning this IP address and port number. So copy this we need to and we need to do, make the file, the three, these three files, and we need to place this on this path on firewall. That's it.
okay i have placed these three files here and one is proxy pack that's it now what we need to do one more thing is tell my dns server here that i need to tell my dns server that uh, our wpad wpad is host and my domain let me mention the domain name and ip address this and this wpad auto configure host description save it and also change the domain name here general setup and this my domain.com that's it okay if i go ahead and now if i ping for the wpad WPAD my domain dot com now you can see it is resolving name so now what I need to do I have configured the static IP here's static settings so that's why I need to mention the DNS domain name also here domain name that's it now if I will ping again WPAD now you will get the reply it's appending here my domain name dot com automatically so now everything is configured and now this way our internet explorer will be able to find the proxy settings so let's see here I have unchecked this and this is enabled What I have done only I have just mentioned this post wpad my domain dot com and IP address in this description. You can all you can find these all things here. That's it. If I open the Internet Explorer and then Facebook now, now you can see the we got the message. So it's mean it's going through proxy server. And it found the proxy settings automatically. So if I go out there to just check, confirm if I block the one more website here, Google uh, Gmail. And let's open gmail.com. Okay, now now you can see so it's going through proxy so this is how to configure the proxy settings on more than 500 clients or more than 100 clients in your company thanks for watching this video I will come with more videos thank you